Hello, Internet Sister. Well, I want to know what this fancy gizmo is. What does it look like? Hmm? It's a pop bottle. Although I've got it there. You know what it works as? See that slot? It's meant to put over a camcorder. Like this. Like my Sony. Or my now retired JVC that's got a dead display. And refuses to work with a memory card for some reason. So, that sucks. Anyways, I just thought I'd mention that and make a short video about this. The fact that when I use this when it rains, when I'm filming something, I can't flip open the display because, well, it's on a tripod, it's high up, I'm not about to take it off. Well, it's modular so I can take it off and hold it in my hands, but then I can't see over the heads. And the other thing is, especially when we're filming the demonstration, I need to be able to raise it and view over the heads of a speaker. But then comes the problem. When this is installed, I can't actually uh, open the side panel display. Because my Sony has a viewfinder that I can open up without opening the display to record video. So, that's a nice thing about it. This thing, I can't. Now, besides the obvious, uh, that made me miss a clip the last protest when I was filming it. So, I didn't know the thing was off, or I didn't know it was stopped recording, until I looked at the lens cap and it was off. And that shocked me. I was in utter disappointment. Well, I had no idea. I could have taken it out to check. But then again, it was raining. Yes, pouring rain. So I couldn't just remove it and out of the side of the panel because I would have got damaged. And you know how I care about my equipment. There's zero doubts of damage on it. I care for it. I don't drop. I rarely ever happen to drop equipment. It's a rarity in that case. So that frustrates me to no end when I cannot check the side panel to see if it's recording or not, much less via the viewfinder with this son of a bitch in the way. Yes, the back piece. So, it's a very, very tiny display. It's literally one centimeter rectangular. So, that's hard to view when you're looking for a piece of plastic. And I'm not about to keep lifting it off, putting it back on, and realigning the damn thing again and again. However, when it's not raining, that's not a problem. I don't miss clips, or I don't miss speeches. I don't. I can actually check when it's actually recorded or not, just to make sure. So, yeah, bit of a disappointment and an error on that part. I was not aware of it when that happened, and that was real disappointing to find out that I missed a seven-minute speech. Other than that, just thought I'd give you a sneak peek into the way I do things on filming and making videos, especially in bad weather. I will not let a single drop of rain touch any of my equipment. That's what this is for. Snow can also be a problem. I'd have to use this even in the snow. I've had to use a Ziploc before and drape it over. Yeah, over the camera, which sometimes it interfered, because literally this much, so... Yeah, a bit of a problem. And I had to tape over the zoom thing, because you don't want this happening! Because that happened a few times when I was recording. I didn't know that I literally hit it, because the one the Sony is so fucking sensitive. You can literally tap it. This takes a little while to tap, but just a slight touch, and it zooms all the way in. <laughs> so... I don't want that happening no more. So, that's why I use this now. There's a sponge there that specifically raises it above the microphone that's on top of the Sony. This one has it right here. Left and right. If you know what that is, that's the microphone built in. There's a camera shield on the top. I don't, this does not have a microphone external input, so I can't use it with that. Although, that does give me an option to use an external microphone. But I'd have to poke a hole into this fucking shield to use it. Which would be very handy. 
especially if I can't get further into the crowd, at least I can bring a microphone further in with me into the crowd, pending the cords long enough. It's 3.5 millimeter. Yeah, so I got a bit of options. I just haven't been using them. And I probably don't find it convenient in that case. Anyways, thought I'd make that uh, mention. Okay, well, thanks for watching. And, well, have a great day, everybody. Feel free to subscribe. There's more videos coming. When time permits, when availability permits, and when I get advanced notice.